to God's church in Corinth and to all of God's people in Achaia. I pray that God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ will be kind to you and will bless you with peace. Praise God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Father is a merciful God who always gives us comfort. He comforts us when we are in trouble so that we can share that same comfort with others in trouble. We share in the terrible sufferings of Christ, but also in the wonderful comfort he gives. We suffer in the hope that you will be comforted and saved. And because we are comforted, you will also be comforted as you patiently endure suffering like ours. You never disappoint us. You suffered as much as we did and we know that you will be comforted as we were. My friends, I want you to know what a hard time we had in Asia. Our sufferings were so horrible and so unbearable that death seemed certain. In fact, we felt sure that we were going to die. But this made us stop trusting in ourselves and start trusting God who raises the dead to life. God saved us from the threat of death. And we are sure that he will do it again and again. Please help us by praying for us. Then many people will give thanks for the blessings we receive in answer to all these prayers. We can be proud of our clear conscience. We have always lived honestly and sincerely especially when we were with you. And we were guided by God's wonderful kindness instead of by the wisdom of this world. I am not writing anything you cannot read and understand. I hope you will understand it completely, just as you already partly understand us. Then when our Lord Jesus returns, you can be as proud of us as we are of you. I was so sure of your pride in us that I had planned to visit you first of all. In this way, you would have the blessing of two visits for me. Once on my way to Macedonia and again on my return from there. Then you could send me on to Judea. Do you think I couldn't make up my mind about what to do? Or do I seem like someone who says yes or no simply to please others? God can be trusted. And so can I when I say that our answer to you has always been yes and never no. This is because Jesus Christ, the Son of God, is always yes and never no. And he is the one that Silas, Timothy, and I told you about. Christ says yes to all of God's promises. That's why we have Christ to say amen for us to the glory of God. And so God makes it possible for you and us to stand firmly together with Christ. God is also the one who chose us and put his spirit in our hearts to show that we belong only to him. God is my witness that I stayed away from Corinth just to keep from being hard on you. We are not bosses who tell you what to believe. We are working with you to make you glad because your faith is strong.